Hi and welcome to Steel Tech in Allingsås. Uh, my name is Torbi Nilsson and today we are going to show you our new boiling pans on lakes. My name is Björn Folin, CEO on Steel Tech. I will uh, assist Torbjörn in this uh, show of uh, the new boiling pan on lakes. Okay Björn, why have we done this new development of, of boiling pans? Two main targets. One is flexibility. Uh, we see an uh, increasing demand on inflexibility. Uh, quite often the uh, operators of in a kitchen changes over time. Uh, the community or the uh, hospital are buying or constantly buying in new entrepreneurs. It changed from ESS to Sudexo back again. When the new operator comes in, he wants a new flow, a new way of making the food, so he rebuilds. We see an increasing activity on schools and uh, children's care that they build, they close, they build. and So there's a mo mo lot more flexibility demand on the markets. Uh, it's also temporary installations like uh, festivals or uh, shows or events, so they want something flexible. The second uh, objective is uh, floor penetration. Floor penetration is always an issue in a kitchen. You have a wet floor ceiling. Uh, as soon as you drill, you have a risk. And if the service guy who is installing this product is not accurate and uh, careful, he will leave an open hole and then you will get water damages in the building. Yeah. So two objectives, water penetration and uh, flexibility. Yeah. So actually it's built to be able to be moved around Absolutely. a little bit more. Yep. Okay, when we see the boiling pans, uh, we can see this, this frame on the back side. Mm -hmm. Is this mandatory? Is it necessary? Or? What we have done, <laughs> what we have done in this uh, is that when you have a boiling pan this size, um, you can, in the pan you can uh, make your stew or you make your mashed potatoes. 200 liter mashed potatoes which you are turning around creates a big mass which is want to move. So stability is of course a much much higher issue. If you bolt it to the ground it's easy. If you don't bolt it you have it freestanding, you have to take care of it in another way. What we have done is that we have decreased the height of course to get the frame underneath. We have changed to a stainless steel uh, square tube welded uh, frame. So now it's a very very rigid system. We have this uh, bottom frame which is holding together the left column and the right column. This is a 120 times 80 stainless steel a square tube. So sturdiness is, has been uh, the big driver in this one. Okay. Uh, how do you do when you have more than one pan? I mean... Yeah, then we dock it. Uh, we have this freestanding solution. Uh, when it's freestanding there is a fill up part here. Uh, if you want to make it in stands, you can take away this fill up part and then like it's shown in this installation we have here three boiling pans in a stand and then it will look like like it is on the on the, on the back side okay that's good mm -hmm. according uh, one more thing about the installation normally we say you want to have a or you need to have a distance between the frame and the wall of 200 millimeters that is for squeezing hazard if you have, depending on how the room looks, for example in this installation you have, you cannot enter inside in this area. So in this installation it could be possible to push it directly to the wall. So if this touch the wall, then you can still tilt the pan. Also if you have a back-to-back -back installation, if it, there is no hassle from the side that you cannot enter and squeeze yourself, you can put them close to each other and then you can still tilt the boiling pans. That's really good. Hmm? So now when you have changed uh, the columns, is it wider or is it, I mean... No, uh, as, since the space is an issue, yeah. uh, we have managed to make them smaller. So 50, 80, 100, they are 20 millimeters smaller than before. That's good. Uh, 150, 200 and 300 are 40 millimeters smaller than before. So you actually require less space than before. Mm, that's really good. So it would be possible to change from the old pan to the new pan and using the same... Yeah. Um, if you have an old installation, you take away the pans. You have, to, of course, to mend the floor so that the floor is okay. Then you put this one 
on the same spot and the, the, um, the well floor, floor galleries will fit. Oh, that's really good. Mm -hmm. Another thing that's uh, obvious when you look at them is the, the leg. Yep. I mean, this is uh, a really good leg, mm -hmm. which is uh, safe from uh, bacteria and stuff like that, easy to clean. Yeah. The leg is very, very sturdy. It's a uh, food industry leg. Uh, one very important thing is no visible threads. Some of our colleagues have visible threads, but visible threads is a really, really bacteria collector. There is small, small uh, edges where you can, uh, where the bacteria can stack. So the leg is totally uh, free from uh, from threads. It's a sturdy one, and the whole idea with the boiling pan is that it should be flexible, so you should be able to move it. So the leg has to be sturdy. Uh, the leg is screwed up into the um, frame. When you have the right distance, you this part here is can move. So when it's ready, it's like this. No visible thread at all. So easy to lock. Well. Easy to lock. Then, if you have a floor installation where either the uh, the floor is sloping very much, or if you have a tile with no structure at all, so it's very smooth, and of course, if the customer has a lot of fat in on the floor and so on, if the floor is very slippery, we have also an installation part. Um, when you have installed the pan on the floor, you um, clean it and then you put this ring on like this, that you can do afterwards, and this ring is then have a self-adhesive tape on, on the bottom. In that case, in that sense, you uh, stop it from moving. Not necessary in most of the cases, but if you have very slept floor or if it's a very smooth, smooth tile, this can be used. This has a separate code as an accessory. Hmm. Very good. Mm -hmm. So, we also have some other new things inside the column, yep. uh, be besides the, the frame and so on. Uh, one big part is the frequency converter. Normally a frequency converter leaks uh, small uh, current out to the net. Uh, low voltage directive says that a boiling pan should be protected from fire. You need to have an earth protection switch. Uh, on 300 milliampers to protect the building from fire. But this product ends up quite often in schools or in uh, children's care and so on. And a lot of local operators say we want to have a personal protection, 30 milliampere uh, earth protection. With this new frequency converter we have been managed to take down the leaks, so now we can install it with a normal personal safety class R 30 milliampere uh, earth protection breaker. So it is a much that, that is quite, quite good, so you can That's really good. Uh, protect yourself from electrical shocks and so on. Mm, perfect. Mm -hmm. We also have some other new things mm -hmm. that we can see if we directly by looking at the pants. Of course. Uh, mm -hmm. the, gra the graphical profile is changed since Electrolux Professional. It's now it's one year anniversary. Yes. Yesterday or when? Yeah. Day before. Day before. <laughs> um, 23rd. You have a new uh, graphic display. Uh, the function is the same, but uh, the looks are, are different. Uh, you have the uh, brand, uh, Electrolux Professional, etched uh, on the front. Um, on the previous pan, we have the mixer for the water on the top of the pan. Uh, the chef wants to have this as a storage uh, surface, so he can put his tools, tools and so on. Yeah. Instead, now we have the uh, mixer in the front, on and off, hot and cold. We have um, the um, spray gun on the side. Uh, in the previous position, you could, if you uh, treated it wrongly, have an edge on the, on the hose. Now we have a swivel, so this moves with the operator. So it's, um, you always have the right position. The handgun has uh, adjustability, so you can adjust the flow, and you can adjust the spray pattern. So you have the correct cleaning spray pattern. That's good. That's really good. Yeah. Um, if you talk a little bit about assortment. Um, yes, this is important. When you buy the pan, you buy, let me look at this one. We buy um, one pan, which is the vessel and the right column. What you get included is the food temperature sensor. You get the uh, automatic uh, water control and you get the automatic level control of the vessel. Those three are 
almost all, always uh, mandatory in the pan. Um, if you forget it, you will get problems with service or with performance. Yeah. So that is included. Then you have to buy a left column if it's uh, freestanding. If you have a multiple stand, you don't buy that one. And you have to buy the uh, bottom frame. Yeah, but if you have three pans like this, you buy one. You, you buy one, of course. Well, yes. <laughs> Otherwise, <laughs> you need it to have one at least. At one. Yeah. Then uh, the other accessories like uh, strainer, uh, strainers, like um, cleaning tools and things like that, that is the same as in the old series. Okay. And this is only the vario mix now on legs? In this one, it's only the vario mix. Uh, within uh, Q2, next quarter, you will get also Pro Mix, you will get Smart without a steerer, you will get foot pedal, and you will get light in the lid. Okay, that's good. Um, I also noticed some other details that mm. is, is different. Uh, the connection for yep. the electricity and for the water. Yes. Um, you want to have a nice installation. Um, quite a lot of um, friends or colleagues, they have the water intake and the uh, electrical intake here, which means that somewhere in this area you have to have the piping and the uh, electric cables. We have chosen to have an uh, electric intake on the bottom. We, uh, the boiling pan comes with a cable gland, so you can seal it off with the cable. The cable then goes in here, and then you connect it to the main plinth. For the water, we have a welded co connection, so inside the pan the uh, water is connected to the uh, bottom frame, and then on the bottom side you have the uh, water connection from the, from, the, from the bottom. That means that the plumber, he don't have to go into the pan, so the pan is our responsibility, our That's very good. looks. <laughs> and then you have the local plumber, he can do it outside. For the electrical part, he goes outside, and then of course he has to install or connect the cables, but otherwise he's also outside the pan which prevents uh, mistakes and so on from the local, local guys. Mm. From service, um, it is like this, or installation first. We are protecting the, um, or shielding the uh, bottom frame so you don't see it. So the cover plates are going down so you don't see the bottom frame. That means that when you install, you have to take away all the um, cover plates. Um, all the around. way around. Yeah. When you've done that and you are in normal service, the main service is from the back, from the front and from the top. So if you want to access, you have a, now a key. It's a normal electrical cabinet key uh, with a triangular uh, uh, pattern. You will get one key with the uh, installation, along with the, with the boiling pan. Otherwise it's called uh, TK8, this one. So we open the back, take away. You open the front. And take away. With this you access um, the uh, frequency converter, the water. From the back you have the electricity. The electricity is foldable so you can take it out and then you can access it. If you want to uh, make service on the lid or on the uh, electrical car, you release two bolts here, and then you can fold this one up. And then you have access to the um, uh, lead switch, and you have access to the uh, electrical card, so to say. So it is quite easy installation of uh, the pan, and quite easy service. It's very easy. Yeah. So actually one, uh, you have two screws, yeah. and then you can do you almost can do, anything. Yeah. Okay. Then as a side note, you can see this red part here. That is a uh, Steeltec service uh, installation kit. Um, you have to invent your own when you're installing, but with this one you can move the pan. Uh, this we have to put the pan in place and then we take away this, uh, these parts. But that is a side note. Mm. That's very good. Good. Mm. Good. Do we have some other... I don't think so. ...things that we need to... There is a lot of things to say, but this <laughs> was the main uh, things and uh, I think we had managed to have a nice uh, installation. Uh, it looks very professional. Yes. Uh, the uh, panel and so on is very clean and it looks nice. So I think we will have a good boiling pan with a good result, I think. Absolutely. I think so too. Mm -hmm. It looks very nice. Um, we can say also there is uh, installation films available that we will uh, 
uh, provide later on, both for single stand installation and for double stand installation, so that we can download later on. We have also uh, the uh, marketing documents into the in place. Yes, yeah. so we have the we have the mat sheets, we have the price list, and we have also the CAD uh, symbols yeah. and so on. And then we have also the the brochure uh, for boiling pans yeah. updated. So most of the things are in place. Good. Thank you very much for uh, listening. Yeah. Um, and I should also say thank you very much and uh, we hope for a successful sales for this boiling pan. Yes. Thank you. Thank you.